the air, the fire, the water, return, 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 the earth, the air. Hey everybody, it's Murphy Grey Hunter and it is Saturday afternoon. It is about, um, sorry the sun is on my face. It is about 3 in the afternoon and it's like 60 degrees outside and it is so nice and sunny and feels great outside. And we've just been at home, sitting around, just doing stuff here, which has been really nice because we've been so busy the last couple of weeks. So it's really nice to just sit at home and, and just do stuff around the house. So it's just really quiet. Jade's in her room watching um, videos and doing her thing. So yeah, I got my book in the mail today. I ordered it a couple of days ago. Lori Cabot's Book of Shadows. Let me see, why do I look like I'm falling? Okay, there's better. Lori Cabot's um, Book of Shadows. And I got this for about $30 and change um, off Amazon. I don't know if you can find it anywhere cheaper, but this is by Lori Cabot and Penny, um, and Penny Cabot and Christopher Penzat. I don't know, this must be her daughter. I know she has two children. Um, but um, I don't know a lot about Lori Cabot, only that she is a high priestess and she was declared the town of Salem, the, the, the witch of Salem in 1970 by the governor. So I don't know if she still holds that title or not, but um, I have never owned any of her books before. So, I, cause I feel like she's more Wiccan based and you guys, you know, I'm not Wiccan, but, but I have heard a lot of great things about this book. Look how thick it is. Um, this book has a lot of information. I just got it this afternoon. So, um, I'm going to be in my witchy room here sitting in my nice recliner. This is where I sit here and I read and it's nice because the sun is shining in, you know, so I'm going to be sitting here this afternoon and I'm going to dedicate um, an hour of reading in this book, but because I'm reading my Dumbo book, so I want to finish, uh, I want to read that. But um, this has, um, let's see how many pages, 508 pages. Whoa, that's a lot. Um, she has here, every ending is the beginning and for witches, this is law. Where they enter in, from there they must withdraw. And then at the back it talks about the author, which is Lori Cabot. She has a lot of videos on YouTube. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. There are a few videos of her on YouTube. Um, and I know she used to have a, a shop in Salem called like The Cat, The Cat, The Crow, The Cat, The Crow, and something else. But I think it closed like early 2000. Um, and she has other books. So like I said, this is the, this is the first time I've ever picked up a book of hers. So let's see. I've heard good stuff about this book. Uh, the table of contents. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 worth of titles like this small. So, I mean, like, I don't have a problem reading all this. It's just, I don't think y'all want me to read every single thing. So I'm just going to kind of skim through it and just kind of tell you some of the things that are here. Okay, so um, the reason why I do this is because when I'm looking at reviews uh, on books, I, I like when they are sharing the table of contents to see if it's something in here that's any different than any of the other books that I've gotten. Um you know, because I want to know what's in the book. I, I, I like when people do flip throughs of the book. You know, uh, that helps me to determine whether or not I want to purchase this book. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, so here we have the introduction and then the first degree and then witchcraft as a science. So under all that, I'm just going to read just a few of the different titles that are in here of the subjects that are in here. Um, a Magical Attitude. The mind, uh, the mind screen or third eye, dreams and deja vu, uh, witchcraft at a science, witches and witchcraft, generating self-esteem, the um, instant alpha recall and programming mechanism, uh, the emerald tablet, life force, healing with color, chakras, pink star, prosperity magic, protection shields, white light pentacles, 
protection shield, uh, meditation, the importance of balance shield, born victim, speaking to the dead, the Egyptian sun, Egyptian sun meditation, the metals, um, self-protection with healing, uh, being psychic, laying on all of the hands, being a healer, healing of our childhood, and then it goes into second degree. Now, there are many others that I am not saying. I'm just skimming through here and just picking certain certain titles here. Um, the second part says second degree, witchcraft as an art, becoming a priestess or priest of the craft, passing the torch, uh, the art of a witch, the tools of witchcraft, uh, 13 treasures, charging tools, the altar, the magical household, the magical circle, tips for casting the magic circle, the sea salt circle, um, astrology and magic, crystal moon, wish list, uh, tips for spell casting, the wisdom of um, Sybil Leak, crystal charms, amulets and talismans, rune magic, spell bottles, magic cords, feather magic, grave dirt, uh, crystal scrying, um, automatic writing, tarot runes, game of life, healing with magic, tools, wands, and spells, action versus reaction, making mistakes, dealing with drama, being a witch is 24-7, and then the Cabot Tradition Code of Ethics, and there's like 1 through 13, um, being a priest is in a priest, uh, circle covens, temples, and traditions, the Cabot Robe, the Cabot Academy of Witchcraft, the Cabot Tradition Crest, and then preparation of the third degree. Then it goes into the third degree, witchcraft as a religion, becoming a high priestess or a high priest. There's so much in here. And I feel like I'm robbing y'all because I'm not, I'm not going like boom, boom, boom. But um, in a minute, I'll turn the camera out and I'll turn, like I'll hold and you can, you can see each page so you can stop the video and then you can see every single thing that's mentioned in here if you want to see that. Uh, the religion of witchcraft. Um, so then it has totems of the Cabot tradition and then it has like certain animals like cats, uh, crows, wolf, apple, oak, rose, clear quartz, you know, things like that. The advanced apple meditation and silver branch. The Cabot Formula for Initiation and Transformation. Uh, the Quest and Attainment. Uh, fourfold Pattern. Um, sorry, my ears are chin. Um, the Nine Ladies. And so then it has like Morgan, um, Avalon, Nine Ladies of Meditation. The Cabot Altar for the Third Degree. Invocation of the deities god and goddesses meditation um planetary planetary influences upon you the power of the earth and stone planetary 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 um <laughs> magic the sacred landscape earth dragon energy you know i've heard a lot of people talk about they do dragon magic that's something that i'm super interested in like what does that mean that i don't know anything about uh, da, 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 where are we at? The Cabot's Crystal Wheel and Planetary Grid. Theories about fear, uh, fairies. The world of enchantment. Kinds of fairy. Elemental fairies and fairy courts. Okay, we're still going. Um, fairy fire oil, fairy incense, fairy enchantment and fairy illnesses. Um, the creation of Cosmo. Here's the thing I have when people talk about the fae unless you are unless you work with the fae and you have a great knowledge of the fae i don't think that you should talk about them or in a book unless you s clearly state in your opinion this is what because everybody has different um because you guys know how, how much i love the fae i just don't want them misrepresented because the fae works differently with everyone now, I have not read her section on the fairies, so I'm just, I had to throw in my, my five cents. All right. Not two, but five. Karma and soul developmental. Um, roots and races. Rebirth of the witch. Birth, life, death, and rebirth. Qualities of a witch. 
think that's super important. Um, preparation for Grail quests, the Golden Age of the Camelot, uh, quest for the Holy Grail, uh, whom does the Grail serve, the mystery of the Grail, which is like the Holy Cup, the Bleeding Spear, the Plate of the Severed Head, the Fallen Stone, and the Cauldron. Purpose of the Grail, the Quest of the Grail Castle. I know, guys, I'm like, what the hell? Astrology, <laughs> um, the occult, the history, fairy faith traditions, the mysteries and myths of the Wheel of the Year, which goes into Chapter 2. All that that I've been reading, and we're barely on Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is the mysteries and the myths of the Wheel of Year. I'm telling this is over, what is it, 500 some pages? I think it's well worth it, because there's so much information um, fire festivals, and then of course it has uh, Samhain, uh, Imbolc, Beltane, Lunasa, solar holidays, Yule, Ostara, Letha, Maybon, and then so then it has um, chapters on each of these Sabbaths, and then um, the chapter three is a training, like clergy training. So you have like how uh, to make a difference. Uh, community service, hospital visits, critical thinking, magical thinking, conflict resolution, listening and boundaries as a minister, rites of passage, rituals uh, for funeral, passing on to Avalon, Summerland, uh, birth ri ritual or belly blessing ritual, child blessing, which is a wickening, um, coming of age, pre prince or princess or prince, right? Marriage, which is hand fasting, um, home clearing, Cabot's home blessing, animal blessing, elderhood, croning, wizarding, um, initiation, third degree ritual tools, the Excalibur, Excalibur sword, witch's cord, high priest or priestess robe, um, and then the third degree patch. Okay, so, and then the last one is the oath. Let's look at the oath. Oh, and then it says the Mark of Avalon Ritual Tools, a third degree initiation ritual. And then the very back is about the author. So let's look at the oath. The oath is on 502. Let's see. I know I'm super interested. Um, okay, so it just gives the oath here. Um, so I guess after you have read all this and this tip helps you... I mean, I guess when you go into her academy, these are all the things that you learn. Um, so, this seems super interesting. Like I said, I am not Wiccan. However, I think I think studying Wiccan, studying Wicca, is a great foundation for any type of of uh, for any type of witch. I think um, because of all the information that oh, sorry the glare of the sun. Because of um, a lot of the things, whether we do it or not, yes, I'm more I'm more fond of hoodoo because that's more than what I do. But I am not limited just to hoodoo. You know, being eclectic, you can practice many different types of um, magical paths. But um, I enjoy reading books on Wicca, and uh, you know, because it really does. It really does touch on so many different topics. You know, if you are trying to, if you are new into witchcraft, then you are trying to understand, you know, sometimes when people are new into witchcraft, they jump right into like, let me get a book of shadows. Let me start doing spells. Let me start making oils. But when you study Wicca, it really is understanding and learning the basic foundation, you know, Wiccan slash paganism. I always, I always give that little bit of, of, of advice to new witches. Always read some type of book on paganism or Wicca because it does help to build a great foundation. Um, you know, like I said, with a relationship, the best, the best foundation for any type of relationship, especially a romantic relationship, is to be friends first. That makes a great foundation before you can build onto something else. Same with magic. That's just in my opinion. Um, definitely reading a great Wiccan book and getting the knowledge of all of these things that, that what it means, what it means, you know, as far as like, just, just the tools itself. A lot of people don't understand about the altar or the altar tools or what does it mean to heal 
or you know what are the sabbaths what are you know what's moon magic what's protection you know so this kind of touches on a lot of this stuff um and i guess this is all on her her um insight on uh, as being a high priestess in wiccan as a wiccan um so i i think that it's a lot of great information in here so i'm going to turn the camera around and i'm going to show you what i was talking about and then I'll also skim through the book so y'all can see, you know, if you're interested. Because $30 is kind of expensive for a book. And it's okay if it's a book that you're actually going to use. But if it's something that you're like, this was a waste of my money. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me turn the camera around so y'all can see for yourself. Table of contents. I just have to do it straight up because I kept doing it sideways. My phone, you know, landscape like area like when you when you turn it sideways and the it kept filming crazy so I'm like I'm just gonna hold it this way and hopefully that it'll turn it around but if not I'm sure this is fine I just want y'all to get a basic view look you can screenshot this right here you can see everything is on this page I just want you to get a basic you know like a basic view of what's in this book so this way you know if you want to spend 30 bucks you hear those birds outside they're happy because i went and fed them all my birds and these little cats out here they're like oh we just love you and one of those little feral cats actually let me touch the top of his head. I said, oh, we are making friends. Because they normally don't let me touch them. Okay, almost done. Lots of information, right? Oh, you know what would be great right now? A snow cone. That means I gotta get out and go get it. I don't want one that bad. I'm just so lazy here at home. It's just I'm doing things here at home, and so I definitely don't want to stop. I'll go get one tomorrow. Maybe Jade and I go to the park and hang out okay look I'm not gonna do page by page but I just want you to see um, the first page of the book as far as like you know before it starts um, this book is filled with information it doesn't have many photos in here at all and if they are they're drawings like this which is fine I would rather have less drawings in here and more information. Um, she's got a lot of charts in here, which are great. This talks about the chakras. Now, again, this doesn't go into a lot of detail into every subject, but it does give you a really great understanding, a basic understanding and view on each topic. And um, again, you know, uh, this is her views her knowledge as being a high priestess, a Wiccan high priestess. And again, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Even if you um, study hoodoo like I do, or you're into any other type of uh, magical path. Knowledge is power, guys. It really is. I know it's kind of fast, but I'm just kind of showing y'all the basic breakdown of the of the book just so you can get an idea if this is something that you are interested in thirty dollars is a lot for uh, a book you know because you can get maybe like two or three books for that so i just want you to see that this book is really filled with lots of information I mean, 500 pages. 
that's really good let's do it one more time shoot i can't even do it i can't even grab it even with my hooker nail all right okay guys so that was a flip through of this book um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too shaky or whatever. But I just really wanted y'all to see the inside of the book. So uh, I know that just helps me when I'm looking at book re uh, reviews. Like, open it up. Let me see what it looks like. I'm more visual, you know. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I'm more visual. It has to be visual, you know, visually stimulating me. Like, come pick me up. And if it has like a like a cover that I'm not drawn to, at least have the information in the inside be good so um i definitely wanted y'all to see that she has other books and i can't remember the other books uh, i know one's like a spell book and the other one um i can't really remember the other books but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to screenshot them put them at the end of this video so that way you can see if, if there's anything you're interested in um but um if you have this book and you've read this book and you enjoy it or you don't enjoy it let me know what you think of this book or what you think about Lori Cabot herself um I am not going to purchase any more of her books until I read this one to make sure you know I like what she's talking about and all that but honestly just looking through this there's so much great information and you guys know knowledge is power so even if it's something that you do not follow I think to be a very well-rounded, well-seasoned witch, um, you really should be knowledgeable in all different, not just religions, like different religious paths, but also spiritual paths. And, you know, and knowing what your fellow brother and sister witches, um, what they study, you know, what, what their magical path's about, you know, have some basic, um, a basic understanding. You never know, guys, you know, we can... We can take what we learn from one and, you know, and, and, you know, and put it into ours or make our own. You know what I mean? Think outside the box. So anyway, it's about the altar. Lots of great information. I don't think this is a waste of money at all. I feel this is going to have a lot of good information. And uh, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm so hot because the sun is beaming on me. And um, I'm going to sit in my chair and I'm going to read my Dumbo for an hour. And then I'm going to read this for an hour. All right, guys, as always, love you all and blessed be. Bye.